move. Move. Go over there. Fucking piss me off. Go, go over there. Go chew on your nut somewhere else, motherfucker. <coughs> I can still see you. I have eyes behind my head. I can see you. You're a retard. What's going on there, guys? It's your boy Chris, and I'm just playing a little bit of the Sniper Ghost Warrior, the original. Um, I used to have the game. Oh, this, by the way, this is the only game where you could, like, get behind some cover and just chill for a little bit <laughs> and talk. Um, but yeah, I used to own the game, and uh, I forgot. I had it for about a month. The game came out for PlayStation 3 in uh, 2011. Ooh, look, see, I just got shot. Um, 2011, I picked up the game for about a month or a month and a half, and I think Homefront came out, so I sw switched over to Homefront. Um, there's going to be a guy coming here, maybe. No, no. Um, I switched over to Homefront, and then Black Ops 1 came out. So, I didn't give this game a whole lot of time. I know the campaign, I didn't care for it. The graphics seemed cheesy to me coming out of Modern Warfare 2. Um, but the multiplayer looked like it. What? it's a lot of fun. Uh, but just like almost three years ago, same problem that the, the uh, multiplayer has now is there's not a whole lot of servers. I believe there's only 20 servers worldwide and there's not a very big population so it seems like now there's a, a hardcore group um, that still play the game and uh, they're fucking awesome dude I mean it, the shit's crazy these motherfuckers are really good um, and uh, yeah I mean uh, sometimes it's a little hard to get on and off the servers so but uh, like this game, this is a capture the flag game we're playing, and the matches are long, which is cool. I mean, this match is uh, this started with a 45 minute time limit. So throughout the game, I'm probably gonna start and stop this video and just make little notations and get you accustomed to the game. Real quick, right here, I want to make a notation. See the vegetation in the middle of the screen? Um, you, it's hard to have vegetation in your way. Uh, what happens is, look, there's a guy hiding over here somewhere. The uh, vegetation could really screw up your focus. Um, and, uh, yeah, it becomes an issue. Why is this guy hiding? Like... Yeah, motherfucker! Right, so uh, watch, if I focus in on this vegetation, it totally puts the background fuzzy. Um, look, this buddy just went to get him. Shit. You gotta get used to uh, zooming in and out on the game. That's, uh, you know, right here, your arrow pad. Oh, I'm gonna get blown up. That's your, uh, your focus or zoom. Um, it really helps. You have to find your targets. It's a very large playing field. This is the closest zoom. And this is one of the smaller maps, actually. So, yeah. Um, it could be hard to acquire targets. There's some real difficult maps to this game. I know there's going to be a guy up here somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, there's a lot of people that have certain hiding spots. Um, you kind of get used to some of the spots, so you know where to look. But at the same time, it's again, it's such a huge playing field that it could become real difficult. You get grenades. 
Uh, I believe three grenades. They kill. I mean, uh, there's a grenade indicator, but for the most part, if that grenade drops by you, you got like a 10% uh, a chance of living. Um, you get your sidearm. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a different classes that you could get. Um, I usually run with the uh, light recon, which is actually not the lightest package. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I run with the heavy recon, um, which considerably slows down your speed. But uh, yeah. There's no mini-map, there's only a compass in the uh, corner, um, your bullet round, your bullet count, I don't know what that number down here means yet, I didn't really look at that, it might be your health bar, I don't know, um, Right here here's a good point I want to stop and uh, show you um, you can't be too close to your cover it, it you know you raise your weapon if you get too close you need some sort of space to uh, aim with so uh, that's something that you got to keep in mind when you're looking for cover uh, you actually need room to maneuver like if I was trying to follow a shot and I got too close my weapon would just blow up. We got their flag. Oh, I like this position. It's a little close though. I'm always zoomed out, so this is a little bit too close for me. why I knife a lot. It must be my sensitivity. I really, I mash my joystick. I know a couple people ask me that. I do that sometimes when I get real frustrated in Black Ops too. Um, and it kind of sucks balls, but it is what it is. 
I really like the position I had, but uh, well, this ain't so bad here either. Motherfucker, though. Okay, no, for using your side on. Spaz the motherfucker out because sometimes you get one shot kill and then 90% of the time you don't. And it doesn't have any kind of real, it doesn't seem like it has any real logic when you're trying to uh, uh, shoot someone with your pistol. But uh, it is what it is. I was trying to teach my daughter how to play, and uh, and this is exactly what I called it. Try to keep your eye on the map, not zoomed in. And then as soon as you uh, see someone moving, you see some sort of movement, you could uh, center off your screen. I see a guy moving. Focus in, and then start working your... There you go. You gotta track your, your target. Ooh, I just got my hand. Okay, as soon as you get shot, you gotta take cover, man. Just let the uh, <laughs> blood flow stop. But, um, yeah, I mean, it really, once someone sees you, it's a really tough situation. I'll show you why. Um, as soon as I find someone to shoot, eh. Okay, I found my target. Oh, someone got him. But that's exactly what you do. You you acquire your target once you Shit! You're fucking up my commentary. Douchebag. <laughs>
Whatever you do, you don't want to be in no man's land. This is all a game about patience. Um, that's really what it boils down to. You have a lot of fun, um, but you have to have a lot of patience as well. So, that's it. Uh, thank you for joining me. And I think I'm going to put up some uh, team deathmatch games, which are, you know, 10 minute time limits. I think that'll be fun. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, I hope that everybody joins me when uh, Ghost Warrior 2 comes out March 15th. Hey, you click on the screen now, it'll take you back to my last video that I uploaded. And from there you could also get to my uh, Facebook, Twitter, or subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching.